Well, Wally here. It's very early in the morning, guys. Very early, like after nine o'clock. <laughs> so, I need to show you the progress on my log storage. Gates locked. Okay. So, I'm back and forward, back and forward, back and forward with ideas for this whole thing. So, this is, this is how far I'm on. <laughs> As you can see, nothing has happened. Okay, so, uh, there was a change of plan, okay? The change of plan involves, uh, involves location. The location of the uh, of of the of the log storage. Stay tuned. Right. So, what I actually decided to do, guys, was I decided to build it in here. So this is where I do all my splitting. And it just all sort of ends up in a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you can see I've already started clearing up in there. So I'm going to clear all this stuff out. And I was sort of half thinking, oh, you know, I should be splitting this as I'm clearing, blah, blah, blah. But no. So I'm clearing all this out. I'm going to put it all over into this corner. And that's where I'm going to stack my, uh, my unsplit wood. Okay, so which means that... I can just drive in here, reverse it, and throw it in over there. Otherwise, I was charting it all over in here. Now, no matter what happens with this build, I'm going to have to be moving wood somewhere. This is this is the this is my uh, that was my realization. I'm always going to have to be moving wood. So if if I if I if I keep all my rounds here and split them, I'm still going to have to move them over to here to stack them. So. Split them, chuck them in there, and then stack them. That is the plan. That is the plan. So I need to move this stuff. A lot of this stuff uh, needs to be cut with the saw. Pretty much everything that you guys see from here to here needs to be cut with the saw. So I'm going to set that out. And that is my basic plan for today. And hopefully, 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 I get some posts in. So. All I'm going to do, guys, is in regards to the build. So I have loads of these, loads of this timber. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to measure this. It's probably about five foot. So so that means that my wall is only going to be five foot. So it's going to be five foot deep. So a post there, post there. It's going to be six posts. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And I think that'll do me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the uh, I'm going to mark the posts, and I'm going to put them. I'm going to put the ones at the back in two feet, and the ones at the front are only going to go in 20 inches. So that'll give me a that'll give me a drop. So uh, yeah, that's it. And hopefully by keeping everything to the to the to the the specifications of the reclaimed wood. It's just going to make it easier for myself. But while I was while I was in here clearing, I discovered a patio. Hopefully, one patio stone, and it's not going to make this absolutely impossible for me. But anyway, listen, it's cold. I'm going to get, let it warm up a bit, and I'm going to get some coffee, and then I'm going to get stuck into it, do some stuff with the kids. I might make the kids move some logs. I can really see that going down well. Anywho,
Now, by the magic of video editing, I am going to go. <laughs> you know how good Wally is at video editing. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's only when you get into a job like this that you realize why all that stuff was thrown there in the first place. So actually in here to the left of the wheelbarrow, there is a whole big pile of wood that I was supposed to cut up with the saw that's already uh, seasoned and I just didn't get around to it and it actually got buried with, in all the new stuff. So by, I'm hoping that the putting a shed in place, you know, it'll just sort of keep everything just a wee bit tidier. It was just so handy just to chuck everything in there and I think that's half the problem. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go and it's 11.41. I'm, I'm uh, disjointed with time here guys because I'm waiting on a phone call and stuff. So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll leave that stuff there for the time being. I'll focus more on this stuff here, get it out of the road and get it all away. And when I have everything cleared out of here, uh, then I know I can come back then and, and, and chop that stuff up and put that straight into the circulation for the fire right now. So, uh, which 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 were really low on anyway, so it was handy. Oh, so Woody was secretly saving that for a rainy day. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. That sounds about right. <laughs> but, okay, so, this is what I'm looking at. So it's gonna be five foot, by nearly 10 foot by 5 foot that is going to be and it's going to be 6 feet high so it's going to be a little bit it's going to be a little bit higher than this so make sense so it's it's going to be a good shed it's uh, it's going to come out a fair bit like so let me get me measure Guys, it's slow, it's slow going, it's slow going with the kids being here, especially. Okay, so we're coming out at six foot. So it's gonna come out, it's gonna come to there. It's gonna come to right there. So that's that's what we're looking at. So we're looking at from here back. It's quite a bit of wood that I'll be able to get into that. Okay, but the thing is is that nothing square and you know these I don't know when these posts went in. You know, I'm gonna have to cut back these bushes here on this side. Nice hazel tree in there. It's sprouting up, but I want I'll 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 take the I'll take the beach out of it and I'm ending up with a stack of these things here. Which which I'll burn. Which I will burn because Wooly loves burning stuff. Burning stuff. Right. Come here we shower come on. Let's 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 see where I left it. Okay, so this is the mess I made in one corner in order to clear the mess in this corner. So as you can see guys, it actually turned out to be a wee bit more work in it than I expected. Got some really good organic matter out of this. But So what I'll do is, she's ready for posts. What I'll do now tomorrow is I'll put in three posts here and three posts here and then we'll build the frame around that. guys. When it comes to putting uh, putting a roof on and stuff like that, I'm I'm in no major rush for a roof. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put something up just for the sake of putting something up. I still have places to be to be filled. Like it can it can sit there empty or it can sit there roofless all summer. I don't really mind uh, because it's recycled. I'm gonna go inside. Ugh. Because I'm building it from recycled material, uh, I do have some stuff I can use down at Red Branch. But you listen, we're locked down. Can't get the Red Branch. Or can we? <laughs> right, I'll leave it there, lads. Thanks for watching. Well, kid, well, Fox. Stay frosty. I'm going to have a cup of coffee, edit this video, upload it, and then I'm lighting the fire. Stay frosty. Stay.